In this video we're going to show you how to add some cool neon graphics to your videos using Filmora 10 and effects from Filmstocks. Hello everyone, Chris and Christina here with Wondershare Filmora and we are here to help you make better videos and empower your inner video creator. Before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss out on all the tips and tricks that will help you make better videos. So there are many ways that you can add some really cool neonness to your videos and Wondershare Filmstocks makes it really, really easy using the Busy Busy Pack. So the Busy Busy Pack has a lot of different graphics and effects, which for example could allow you to make a title screen like this. Or add a lower thirds title like this. The pack also includes a number of flashing overlays. We've used this one to transition between two clips. There's also a lot of cool little neon graphics that you can use in your videos. All right, let's jump into Filmora 10 and we'll show you just how easy it is to use these different graphics and effects in your videos. So the first thing you will need is of course Filmora 10. So if you haven't upgraded that or downloaded it, you can click the link in the description to get started. And now that we've got our Filmora video editor, let's get that busy, busy pack. So all you have to do is go to Wondershare Film Stocks, search for the busy, busy pack. Here it is right here and just hit download on that and that will then download into your Filmora video editor. And if you click into all the sections here at the top, you'll be able to see all the elements within the Busy Busy Pack down in the film stock section. So you can see here that there are some titles, transitions, effects and elements all within this pack. So let's have a look at how we can use some of these items. So this is of course where you would import your own footage and use whatever clips it is you want to create your video. If you click into the title section, you can see there are many really cool neon titles for you to use. We thought this title would look really good with this nighttime time-lapse clip. So we just added that on there and we actually did change the colors of this one to kind of match the theme and colors that are in the video. So for this next example, we use the busy, busy lower thirds title over the top of this clip of New York City. The lower thirds titles are really useful to use for a location like this one, or also it could be for a name tag on a video as well. This is also very simple to do. You just pick the lower third title that you want, place it over the top of your clip, and you can then change the text and you can change the color if you like. There are also some really cool neon graphics. If you go to the elements section, you can see there are a lot of them that you can use in your videos. So just like these neon elements that we've used with this nighttime clip, you might notice a little theme with these clips that a lot of them are nighttime clips. And that's just because neon goes really well with nighttime or city vibes. The Busy Busy Pack also has some cool overlays which you can use over the top of any of your clips. We've actually decided to use this one as a transition between the two parts of this time lapse. And the way we did that was we cut in the middle of the time lapse to separate the daytime part of the time lapse from the nighttime part. And then we just placed the overlay over the top of the cut so that when the screen turns white it then reveals the nighttime part of the time lapse. This is just a cool little way to make the change from daytime to nighttime in the time lapse a little bit more dramatic. So those are just some examples, but there are many ways that you can get creative with this pack. So give it a try and the link is in the description for you to try it out. So you can see just how easy it is to add these neon effects, graphics, titles to your videos. And if you want to try this out for yourself, then you can find the link in the description. So try those out for yourself, keep creating, and we'll see you in the next one.